So in recent videos I've been talking a lot about this uh, soft structure and uh, internal Wing Chun. Uh, but I guess people wonder, okay, it's interesting in theory, but does it actually work? Uh, students when they begin often say to me, theory is great, theory is great, but surely it doesn't work in real life against a real attacker. Uh, surely it doesn't work when somebody's really throwing their force at you. Uh, surely you can't be serious. Well, as Leslie Nielsen once said, I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Okay, let's have a look at this soft structure again, someone who's really trying to hurt you. Okay, come. Uh, Mark here. Now, I can't guarantee that he really wants to hurt me, but every time I call for a volunteer for someone to hit me, he's always at the front of the line. So maybe there's something in that. Um, can't guarantee that he's actually trying to hurt me. Not, not here on YouTube. We're not out in the street fighting each other. What I can guarantee is that he's bigger than me. 30 kilo weight advantage over me. He's stronger than me, that's for sure. Uh, let's make him faster than me as well. How are we going to make him faster? I am not going to move or react until his punch comes all the way in. So we're going to really load the dice against me. Now, how we're going to do these punches, I want you to really throw the punches in. So, okay, practice your punches. Yep, that's it. Okay, again, throw your punches in. All right, so I want you to attack me with that sort of intensity. Uh, tell you what, just so we don't ruin uh, Mark's burgeoning career as a hand model, I'm going to put a mouth guard in, so if I miss, uh, we don't mess up his knuckles too badly. Okay, thank you. Yeah. One. One more time. Come, get in. One more time. One more. So, what we're doing with the soft structure, done this in the other videos, we're receiving the force when it comes in. Not in any way trying to redirect or hard push the force away, because that won't work. Okay, take a bit of a risk here. In the incorrect demonstration, I'm going to be stiff and try and hard park it. And notice, I'm receiving these really close to my face. Worst case scenario. So go. See, at best, we go. I'm going to have the force. I stop the punch, but it's shocking me backwards, breaking my structure and moving me back. So again, I'm going to receive it really close to my face, even so close as this, but I'm going to use my structure and take the force into me. Oh, hit. Hit him. Yep. Okay. So, just because we are training internal Wing Chun or going for the soft approach doesn't mean that we cannot deal with hard brute force being applied forcefully upon us. There would be no point training if that were the case. What we are trying to do is to not be f frightened by force, even if it comes so close to us. You see, I was trying to receive force as close as I can to here. Now, if I was rigid, it would, the force would be translated into me, affect my structure, break my whole body structure, which is no good. I cannot fight like that, especially against a bigger person. I need to be able to receive, take the force, receive force into me, even from so close. Now, why? Well, because Wing Chun is a close-in fighting style. Now, aren't we famous for the, the one-inch punch or even the no-inch punch? Do you mean to say then uh, that we can come in so close and deliver power from so close so we can deliver force from no distance, but somehow we are not supposed to be able to receive force from no distance? So I should go in and be able to hit the opponent, but God, I hope he doesn't hit me in back in return. No, no. If it was one without the other, it sounds to me like you've only got half a fighting system. And we're not. We are not half a fighting system. We are a complete system. This is the Wing Chun handed down to me by my master, Sifu Derek Fung Ping Bo, student of Mr. Yip Man. Uh, he is a very humble man, so maybe not many people have heard of him. But I am just a pale shadow of him. What I know is thanks to him. And he is a master of close-in fighting. If you have, can make it to Sydney, Australia, he is still teaching 
I would urge you to go and learn from him while you still can. Because from him, I truly understood the idea that there is no minimum distance, that even so close, if you have the right structure, you can receive force. Then you are really fighting close in, fearless of your opponent, able to move in, receive force from anywhere, deliver force from anywhere. That is our Wing Chun.